the king now. I will fight with honor. But yeah, Anduin. Guys, show some love though, to Anduin. Some less than three. We have all the hate here already, the wall stream. Let's put some love for Anduin. You will find your way. No exit for you. Reasonable starting end. Ooh, uh, look at that, guys. The hunt is on. Yeah, let's just play curve here. I mean, this is a pretty nice trait. Because we are getting a minion and there's still the air on board. And this is what the dev are. The deck can be really good. Like, you have so much... Uh, like, look at the, this is just in turn 2. And we are doing so good on board already. He is forced to trade. With his hunter hero power. Oh, that's a really nice draw for next turn. Taunting up the axe, saying, You gotta kill them, warrior. And he's like, No, I don't wanna kill them. Well, you have to. And every time they kill the axe, they only get better. So, good for us. So, yeah, we do it here. My shield for Argus. Just getting value, like this play is only made because of value. I don't think an aggro warrior runs the ghoul. And that is pretty good if he doesn't run ghoul here. Otherwise it can, but he will otherwise play ghoul already last turn. So yeah, but this board really shines at uh, playing for board control. If we at least have an, uh, some stuff early on and um, we can challenge every deck for the early game. Because the, it, for him it's just not worth trading into my stuff. Where I can really abuse uh, my weaker minions by buffing them with all the, especially the four drops, with the Uldaman, with the Blessing, with the Argus. And then we have some weapons also to trade uh, more uh, efficient in the early game. Then in the late mid game we want to go into our challenger to, like 6 mana 6-6 six, six is already great. And then we want to just, fought. getting some free secrets going is really nice. And then the late game is still a bit covered here with the Rag and Tyrion. Redemption is also really good with the egg because then he kills the egg and an egg comes back. So it mm. keeps being annoying for him. I don't like the juggler. Yeah, let's just do this. I was really thinking of not playing cons because I didn't like it either, but um, it is the more safer play. What now? And this is what I mean, you have to kill the egg, I get a 2-1 and you still face the 0-1 egg. Oh, now we have to, oh, we have a really bad hand. <laughs> if he had a blessing, man, oh my god, that'll be so good. Oh, amazing. Reporting for duty. Do I want to play about wind a bit? Maybe I just attack twice. I mean, he didn't have wind all game, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't even play it, but... Oh, whatever. I even want him to attack, so I can deal with it next turn. My blade be thirsty. We have to wait to trade with it, but oh come on, just a little buff. Like even even a weapon is reasonable because we have the rack already. I just need yeah, and challenger is also sick. Ulamon is sick. Blessing is good. Uh, Elder not too much, but both weapons are nice. Yeah, challenger is also it's good enough. Who am I? Um, yeah, we attack, right? This will be a um, plus six. That's in a lot, but whatever. The battle, the battle. But also not attack, because I got the... Uh, um, hmm. Also not attack, because I got the competitor spirit. My word is paramount. Leave me alone. 
So he has a dragon in hand. Probably Ezra Drake. Maybe the 6-6. Six, six, the... Okay, but now he goes to 15. And that's actually a really dangerous life total. Because Wreck and the 7-7 seven, seven Challenger deal with that. I think for him it's really reasonable to trade the si it into the 6-6. Six, six. Like, he like I know I have Ragnaros, but what if it is a um, horrible card? Okay, he expects me trading it. I will play Rack still. Um, going face? Nah, we can lose. We will win this game. If I make this trade. Let's play it safe. How does he deal with Rack? He has the 9 9 now. The, I think. Like, he had a dragon. Like, the left card is a dragon. It can be as a drake, but I can also see it being the 6 mana card that if I'm under 15 lives, it will be a 9 9. That is a bit tricky. I wield the power. Yeah, plays it aggressive now. Pretty. Might be the right play for him because I have to deal with this. And this is not a card that deals with it. Maybe I just make another one instead of doing face damage. He's getting more on board. Go rack. That's my rack. Yeah, but he had a dragon here, so he didn't let lethal if I won't uh, hit a minion. But yeah, of course, it makes it a little bit easier. Let's go. Who am I, guys? 10-4. That's a, that's a score you want with Paladin. That is a score you want. Uther versus Malfurion. I must protect the one. I will fight with honor. But for Kippy, you are probably a Dutch. Uh, you are probably a proud Dutch. Uh, <laughs> proud Dutch player here. I'm not gonna translate this name to the English, guys. I'm sorry. Gonna disappoint you. I think Ildemon is a nice keep. My greeting. Well met. I don't think I like coining another one drop. It might be that he hero powers here. It might be that he plays wild growth here. Yeah, this is better than abuse of surgeon, right? Why will I? Play abusive here when I have the abusive Ulaman now. Pay attention, class. Oh wow, this is going really fast. I am ready to learn. It's going too fast. But and this is also a really good synergy with the dragon and once it is buffed, Eldor helps it so much. Like what we can do now, we just make the Eldor here and we can just like, we just abuse the egg so much by getting already one token but still the egg hanging around here. And that is why um, Eldor is just a good card for the deck. Swipe is nice here for him but he still has to deal with this 2 HP egg but it's also annoying. Super, super annoying. Where shall I strike? Uh, that's not that good. So we have exactly six damage. Yeah, Elder is just so good again. Follow the rule. This one surviving, creating another egg, trading this one away, and now it is a one one like me. Had so much use out of this egg, and we can still Uldam on it whenever we want. Like, this egg just keeps creating value for us. But yeah, he has a really good, st uh, strong start with the Wild Grove, turn 2, turn 4, Teach your Innovate Breath, turn 5, Druid of the Claw. I mean, this is a really rough. We have to handle a really strong uh, Druid hand. Yeah, there might be uh, ways that I need to use my uh, Uldaman defensively, so let's just play through silver here. 
If he plays like a 5-10 taunt, I need the Uldaman to handle that. Ooh. <laughs> Making dab reads, guys. Well met. So Egg first creating a lot of value, Eldar helping the Egg, doing it together, and now the Ulderman dealing with his strong minions. Game underscore place is love, game underscore place is life. Shout out his name and flowers be your wife. Mm -hmm. Wow. So I guess one card is Yawk. <laughs> Another one maybe Wild Grove, I don't know. What can his hand be? Yawk, Wild Grove, Savage Roar, or another irrelevant spell. Let's just keep pushing here then. Ah, Scenarius. Well, Scenarius might not like the Consecration too much. 3, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12 damage, but it's too good. It's better than Tyrion here. Okay, I guess there might be a Yogg here. Yogg will not be the worst thing for you now. <laughs> Is it gonna be Yogg or not? Spectacular. Swipe. Living roots to face. Damn. Da -da -da -da. 11 4, guys, with Secret Belly. Almost up 200. That's how we do it. That is how we do it. Game, game plays on any two dollar. Game plays love. Game plays life. Shout out his name. Well, I just did. I just did. Let's get the arena run in, it, guys. Let's get the twelve wins. Uthas, Leandrin. My hammer burns with holy fire. I will fight with honor. Do you keep double egg? I don't. Th I think double egg might be a bit too much because we need to get the buff cards. Let's see if we can get an, uh, something here. Not yet, but having a reasonable hand here. Normally, the uh, like we have so much buff cards in the deck, um, especially at turn four. So even if you don't find direct use of your egg, it's still nice that it hangs around. What is this? What is this, guys? What are we facing? Is it uh, some kind of Reno Paladin, maybe? Oh, uh, this really sucks because now he has the insane trade. On behalf trade. of percent of the United Kingdom, I would like to sincerely apologize for all of the useless, fat, bald-headed, stupid dance game morons we have. This is super good. Making the trade here. And again, we make the, mo the most efficient trade with the egg. Leaving the egg on board. Super good. Super, super good. Cons? Sure. But the egg makes sure that we are still surviving with a minion on board. So we still have a target 2 blessing here. That's pretty important. Um... Normally I would say I will play the Noble here, but with Challenger next turn, I want to get the Noble out of my deck that way. So I'm not gonna draw it. I don't wanna draw the second Noble now. Back to your homes. Ooh, that's annoying. Oh my god, because I'm 1-1 one -one with Taunt as Divine Shield and I need to attack that. Eh. That's super bad for me. Wow. But yeah, good thing is that I can get my Noble Sacrifice out of the deck now. Who am I? None of your business. So, not uh, having the option to draw it anymore. And that is also like really good about the Challenger. I mean, it's a 6 mana 6-6, six, six, well it's not bad. You get some extra bonuses, so it actually gets really good. And your bad draws are getting out of the deck. Because then you're not playing the secrets to draw, you're playing them to get for free on board. Should I... Get 
Yeah, we don't have secrets anymore, but we I will still play in six mana six six, and that's what I mean. I mean it's still strong, so he doesn't see that. He thinks I had a secret in the deck now, but no, just played it for seven mana. Ah, we still got the rag. Hopefully he doesn't go with too many tokens. And the good thing about this matchup is that he has more dead cards than we have. Like he has the divine favor, what is just an unplayable card at this moment. Options. Ties the second Mistress Challenger is useless. Well, that's the same thing as like, why do Aggro Shamans play double Doom Hammer? Kind of. Because, yeah, the second one is horrible. You never. You, it's way worse. But you want one so badly that you play double of them. And I don't think the second Challenger is that bad. I mean, at worst, it is a 6 mana 6 6. But it's not that bad. Do I play Rack? I guess so. I don't like Rack too much. I don't like this trade either. I like this one more. I don't want to lose too much here. I guarantee a hit from Rack here. Oh, Ragnaros! I hope he trades in Rack over the Challenger. Normally it's better to reduce the minion with a less uh, defense because he wants to trade a 2-2 more likely in than a 2-3. They both have to attack but the 2-2 will more likely trade because for him it's less valuable. So giving the less valuable uh, minion um, the only one attack makes that he probably has to make the trade now with the 2-3. And if I would have like a two attack reach, I should of course not do it, but everything has the same. Oh, another blessing! Like he's drawing the buffs, come on! I had double challenger in the rack, I didn't have, he didn't even had any late game. But it's just because my rack was so bad and I drew secrets. And he gets the buffs. Oh. Top deck wars. I mean, I should still be better in the top deck war, right? I have all the buff cards left. He has cards like Divine Vapor left. Maybe I did tech phase here. Depends on draw. Oh. I think I attack phase here. Because he doesn't get better trades, right? There's no reason to make the trade. If he has a buff card, he will buff it anyway, but he played already the double blessing. Oh, my, do my draws shall be so much better than his ones. But now he gets two draws, so... Uh, just draw Divine Favor, man. He draws spawns. Unbelievable. Oh, what happened with the game? Oh, never mind. For justice. Uh, okay, I get two one ones. He's trading away. Okay, we'll we'll see if I attack or. Oh wow, he attacks with weapons too. Yeah, it really depends on draw. Like, come on, let's just, just draw Tyrion now. Um, I, I will trade this. For justice. It's such a grinding matchup now. 
because we have two minions on board, but he has nothing. And he has like so much, like just draw your divine favor, man. That's where your deck is made around. Stop freaking top decking your good cards. Don't worry, loves. Oh, he still doesn't draw it. And now he gets the charge, so... Ah... Uh, pretty risky to do that for his side. Because he knows I have buff cards left. <laughs> um, I think we traded a minion. Oh my god! Because then we are ahead in the trade battle. We have a one more trade. Oh my god! This grinding matchup. This grinding matchup. He played so many buff cards already with the double blessing. Oh. Your stream is very helpful. Thanks. But in order to reach legend, I must sacrifice some. Female innocent draw near and grind their hooves into my green tea. Oh, we Nathan lost, guys. I can't believe this. Tastes like KFC, by the way. So I have to go. Nice to meet you. I can't believe this. Oh, my God. Mm. The victory is yours. Nah, the trade was fine. I mean, we were dead if we didn't trade there either. Now, we gave ourselves more outs because every... Minion that had board aspect like an Argus was fine. True Silver, Eldor, Flame Juggler, uh, Tyrion. Ah, uh, 